It is Wednesday, October 13th, and this will be a drive from my company's office in Edina, Minnesota, uh, to my home in Northeast Minneapolis. Um, there'll be a mix of some city driving, as well as some, some busy congested freeway driving, uh, which will obviously be relying on the older autopilot code. Um, but uh, the route closer to home actually has some twists and turns, a lot of unmarked roads, um, poorly marked roads for that matter. So this will be my first time with FSD beta going down those roads. So I'm interested to see again how it performs and uh, when, if at all, I'll have to you know, override um, the system to take over. So uh, with that being said, let's go. So this road out here, Edina Industrial Boulevard, is usually pretty busy, so I will be turning on FSD beta as soon as I get onto that road. So we'll see what it does here. There's two lanes, one on the right. Let's should pick the right lane. Let's see here what it does. Yeah, it's gonna wanna stay in the turn lane, so. Usually as a human driver, I always want to go to the right. But I'll let it do its thing. I'm not in a hurry today. But in theory, it should pick the faster lane. Now this is kind of a weird intersection here. It's at a curve, but it stays in its lane just fine. So handled that pretty well. I'll be looking forward to uh, tomorrow when I come back to the office, how it handles that curve from the other direction. As it used to throw autopilot for a loop cause problems where I'd have to always take over. I'm gonna take over there. The car was coming pretty fast. So that was not very good. Again, I think the car was just carrying too much speed coming into that intersection. It should have slowed down and yielded a little bit longer after that car passed. It never really saw it. So I'm gonna mark that one as something to, for the team to look at. So right there again too, it uh, the car hesitated a little bit at those uh, flashing yellow lights. Um, I thought that was an improvement after my first drive. However, today I've noticed a few times now um, that is still an issue. So I don't know if that's an autopilot thing from the previous stack that hasn't been addressed with the new stack or what. So um, something I'll be following up with the team. So again, I'll just create another snapshot there. Right, so that concludes our freeway portion of this drive. Pretty uneventful. Um, one cool thing I noticed was that the car automatically proceeded um, 
at the on-ramp when the light turned green. Before, that was something I had to, you know, intervene manually and tell it to go one way or the other for FSD beta. So even though it looked like it was autopilot code, it actually proceeded on green, which was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, pretty uneventful. Um, one area of concern, though, as you may have noticed, was that traffic gets pretty congested on, on, on um, I-94 or 394 there, um, where it splits off to 94 uh, east and west. So the car always wants to go in the middle lane. It really should be in the left lane until about three quarters of a mile before the actual exit. But I'm guessing it's hard to kind of calculate all those type of exceptions when you're designing a system like this. So. I've submitted a bug report for it many times, but uh, it's still something that remains to be fixed, but just wanted to call that out. Um, but yeah, as, as far as the rest of the route goes, like I said, there'll be some interesting roads up here. Lots of potholes. I think they've filled them in, but uh, we'll see how the car just handles everything here. It's usually a lot of traffic, so have both hands on the wheel and we'll see how it goes. Yep, and there was already one the intervention there. It was really taking a broader turn there. A little bit too wide of a line. And there was a car behind us to the right that it would have otherwise interfered with. So I am going to submit some feedback on that. Five fifty nine PM car took too wide of a turn and almost hit another car. That intersection is somewhere where autopilot before always struggled with because of the semis and stuff parked on the sides of the road it would always try to go all the way to the right and it would always require you know a human intervention so something another thing right there that FSD beta handled you know pretty darn well so pretty cool to see Pretty rough turn, to be honest. Not very smooth. A little too much speed coming in there, and uh, it hung a little out to the left a little bit too much there. But uh, it did complete the turn, so there is that.
kind of trying to trick the navigation and turning left here because I want to go a way that I typically take when I'm driving manually just because it's usually a little faster um, during rush hour. So let's see if this gets over. And it does. Awesome. So once the car turns left, I'll have it go to nav, nav to home here. The car got a little close to the curb back there, but I let it do its thing. It, it uh, seemed to deal just fine with no lines and whatnot. Um, the only other thing was it carried a little bit too much speed once it turned off uh, Marshall there, but uh, otherwise, uh, you know, no issues. So this is one road where I've been dying to try it out, uh, FSD beta on, because you can't, you've, you haven't been able to use autopilot on any of these roads for like the next maybe mile or so because they have no line markings. But as you can see, it handles it pretty flawlessly.
executed that left turn perfectly. That was pretty cool. It's kind of a tricky intersection at the stop sign, kind of at an angle, but you're, you're turning left, so. Thing there that I noticed the car likes to kind of go more towards the center of the road sometimes and some of these are I guess a little center biased um, but as you see when people drive on this road from going to the other direction they like to go more towards the center as well the car gets over I haven't felt unsafe at all but something hopefully in the future releases they'll address where the car hangs out a little closer to the curb especially when there's nobody parked on the right hand side So this is an interesting intersection here. So I'll be turning left. Uh, you have you know, traffic to your left, traffic to your right. It's gonna definitely have to get out a little more to actually see traffic here. So let's see how it does. I'm gonna try to let it do its thing because there's nobody behind us. And we got a pedestrian coming up. All right, it's going for it. Awesome. When it sees an opening, it really hits the throttle hard. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it needs to hit it that hard, obviously, so I'm sure as they uh, adjust the code and whatnot, that uh, will be something they'll smooth out, but. adjusting the speed and it didn't seem to take effect. I was trying to slow down just because we usually have a lot of pedestrians, especially after crossing the train tracks there. And the car wanted to do a little faster than I wanted it to go, so. All right, just creeping around the car, see if there's anybody's there. Awesome. And I'm home. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.